Bruh. Bruh. How you doing? I'm so glad that you can join us here tonight. So today I thought we would make a Billy Tylish, a combination of Billy Eilish and Tyler Stephen Thomas Calias Carpenter Mascarenhas. Now I'm just gonna have him graphically run all the colors across the screen that you will use with me to paint, and I'm just gonna tell you what I've done. Right now I have gotten a stock image of Billy Eilish from Google Images. And here I've gotten a live picture of Tyler Thomas, Stephen Calias, Carpenter, Mascarenhas. Um, now, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have a good version of Tyler's face. So we're going to take our free select tool. I'm using GIMP because, as you know, I'm, I'm too poor to afford a Photoshop. So we're just going to select a very rough outline you don't you don't need to be precise with it just get the basic shape and then connect it we're going to copy that now <laughs> obviously it's just it's a little big so what we're going to have to do is um we're going to have to go to layer actually no we're going to have to name our layer first so right now we're just going to name it tyler bro for now. Now we're gonna go to scale layer Let's and let's just scale it down a bit. Ever so carefully. Didn't do very much now, did it? Um, but it's okay. We just keep scaling down. There's nothing wrong. And if you ever do anything wrong, you can just hit control Z and undo it straight away. But I don't think you'll ever need to because as you know, we don't make mistakes. That's a parent's job. <laughs> Apologies for the um, edgy joke. It's just under a lot of stress lately. Any, anyway, next what we're going to do is we are going to rotate Tyler's face into position. Make sure it fits the jawline. You might need to rotate it a little more. So let's go back to rotation, shift R. That's a pretty, pretty useful tool. And, okay, looks like that works pretty well. Now, next thing we are going to do is take our magnifier glass and get real close up. And take our eraser tool and just erase away. Just erase in a way. You can always change the size of your eraser so you can really get those notches and all those tight corners. Um, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Right now we're just we just wanna get all of this out of the way. So we're gonna Get rid of this, that looks a little messy, so I'll just undo that. See, the beauty of Photoshop and something is that if you make a mistake, you'll always, always be able to undo it and try again. Something you usually won't be able to get away with. See, now that was a little sloppy, so I'll just undo that and try again. That looks a lot better. Actually, no, you know, what the heck, we're gonna, we're gonna rotate it just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Get it just slightly more precise. Now we're just gonna move that a little further back, fit the jawline. And now we can erase just a little bit more don't go crazy and just 
Go at your leisure. And as you can see, there's reflection in the background of his glasses, so you can just easily get rid of that. Now, I don't have much time to work on this, so um, I won't be able to be as precise, but you can always come back and fine-tune that and add a bunch of wacky filters to make it look like an actual glass reflection, but that's what we're going to do for now. So, now that we have Tyler in Bill Ash's body, the big problem right now is going to be the forehead. So, what I chose to do is we're just going to take a chunk of Tyler's cheek, control C it, control V it, name it, just drag it on up here. And while we're here, we're just going to erase the bits that come into contact with the edge. Very important, very important. Now, we are going to... We are going to take this and... Control-C, Control-V that. And we're just going to move that slightly over, and we're just going to repeat that process. Actually, hold up. Oh, no, never mind. I was doing it right the whole time. But that's okay, because... Alright. Now that we have this little forehead piece, we're going to just start with a little bit of smudging just to blend it all together. We're just going to make another one. Add it up here. Get our, we're just going to get our eraser tool in. Let's name that just so we can play around with this and just see what we can do. Now let's see what we got here. All right. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to leave it right there so it's flush with the forehead. And we're going to take our smudge tool and just ever so carefully blend everything together ever so carefully of course you can always fine tune it a little bit more if you want if you ever want to of course you're not obligated I mean this is your little world your character so you can do anything that you want and that really is the beauty of Photoshop or in this case, GIMP. But I honestly don't think any photo editing tool defines you or is superior. Because all of them are great in their own individual ways. Just gonna get rid of that a little bit. Well, got rid of a little too much, so we're just gonna... Oh, I guess that's just a part of her hair. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up too hard for simple mistakes like that. Never, ever, ever. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move, try and figure out how to move the layer, the layer of Tyler's head. Oh, I accidentally opened that. <laughs> we are going to right click where oh we're gonna click there it is merge visible layers so we're gonna click that click merge and now it's all one picture so 
that allows us to really work on our previous mistakes. Now you don't you want to be very careful because now it's all one layer. So let me show you what happens if I erase it. It erases the entire thing. So this is just the fine tuning process. So you want to be very careful. And we're just gonna take our smudge tool. Actually, we're gonna what the heck? We're gonna change it to our blur tool. We're just gonna fine tune these little areas. And if your mouse ever gets stiff, you want to do this technique. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. Now, that's what I used to say to my ex-wife. That if she ever misbehaved, I would beat the devil out of her. Just like my mouse. <laughs> anyway, um, that is pretty much it. You know, um, so let's... Zoom on out, look at our glorious picture, Billy Tylish. Now, I didn't have much time on this piece, so you can obviously go further into it and fine tune it, but as a start, it's not bad. So I hope you can join me back next week. Have fun. God bless.